Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Pod Fiction. We're back with another awesome podcast for you and your family to listen to. So sit down by the radio, turn that dial up, mm-hmm. and listen to some sweet, sweet jazz. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, dude. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Welcome right. back to fuck off. You've been, right. you've been what have you been up to? What have I been up to? What have you been up to? Okay, um, well, I got everything I owned. Oh, good for you. Put it in a backpack. That's really hard to get. I found a Sherpa. A bindle? How do they put everything in a bindle? <laughs> they only own condoms and fucking can openers, dude. Fuck, do you remember that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they're trying to run away and yeah. they're trying to put everything in a bindle? And there's no, there's like a, literally it's a bandana. It's not even a bindle. They're yeah. like, they're just putting it in the bandana. Like, do you realize how small the bandana yeah. is? How do, you fit, how do you fit everything in you own in a, in a bindle? <laughs> just Charlie's like, you do, losing but, it. They're fucking idiots. Oh, fuck. Um, so I packed everything I own, put it in a bag, found a Sherpa, and I climbed the Himalayan mountains, uh, and I'm back. How long did that take? Uh, about a half an hour at best. Half an hour? Is that any world record, or is uh, no, that... no, 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 no. I, uh, world's record for being the longest. I hear, uh, the, uh, Rock did that last winter, and he actually beat the mountain into submission. He did. A full-out suplex. Wow. Did, were you ever close to those, uh... Uh, getting the mount in a any type of submission. I tried. I went for a leg bar. Ooh, a leg bar. That's but actually, then we went to an actual tricky. leg bar, and the mountain and I just became friends, hitting up on chicks' legs and stuff. It's like, <laughs> do oh. you talk to the rest of the the top of the body or just, no, just, just the, the legs. legs? It's a bar exclusively for legs. You're just draped in a bag. Is it actually just legs, or is, are people attached to the rest? No, of them? that's disgusting. How could you even make that possible? I, you know what? I understand that was stupid on yeah. me. Really? Yeah. It's just the leg bar, Michael. Uh, you know what? It's okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut the interview right now. It's okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. People make <laughs> And we're back. Also, so Ronda Rousey did an interview the, the other day. We, we are not, dude. Not, this is gonna tie in with what I'm talking about. Make just listen. So she did an interview with like ESPN or whatever, okay. and the guy was like, "Fucked up what he said," and he's like, "He's like, if like you could go back, would you like?" fight again and he's like are you or he's like if you can go like back in time would you like ever fight again he's like did you just ask me if i can go back in time (laughs) and he's like no like i mean like would you what knowing what you know now like or like would you ever go back and fight he's like no sorry sir i do not have a time machine (laughs) (laughs) what a fucking burn ass i know she burns the shit out of him that's fucked man that's gotta be so embarrassing like because that's the reporter you have like the upper hand right Mm -hmm. like i get to ask the questions and then just to be like shit on it's like all right all right i get it that's fair (laughs) you're not coming back to my show (laughs) all right so what have you been actually up to what i've been up to literally the same thing i say every week i've been working and playing video games um okay since we added the new segment to the show, the the the, the toy slash figure reviews, yeah. I've been doing a lot more editing, um, which involves a lot more of me in my bedroom snickering like yeah. an idiot because I make a little funny edit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> go Brendan, <laughs> <laughs> yay me! <laughs> and then it's fingers crossed that my computer can render the video. That's true. <laughs> that's um, that's the extent of it. I've been taking my dog for walks because it's nicer outside, minus the weather we're having right now. Um, uh, but every time I take him out, since he's a little guy, his little tummy touches the ground, so he gets all full of sand. Uh, so I have to bath him every single time I walk him. <laughs> but now Why don't you just cut the hair on him? Well... They like cut his belly hair. Because if you cut his hair, it grows back a different color. Oh, okay. So, like... So it could grow purple, and that's weird, and that, then other dogs bully that yeah, dog. Yeah, and then they'll get bladder crystals and die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But I could then harvest his bladder crystals and sell them on the black market. That's true. Um, Lots of money. Question of the day: If bladder crystal sounds really cool to you, just say so because I think it sounds really cool. And no, I one... think it sounds completely deadly. It, well, bladder yes, crystals, but cool. Harvesting them, I wouldn't want to go in anybody's bladder. Well, you're not. You're just harvesting them. You would like wear gloves or something. Yeah, but you're still going in that bladder. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, point point proven. Pro- yeah, well, I know. I mean, you're going in the bladder. Yeah, yeah but... but it's like, would you though for the crystals if they're worth a lot of money? Depends if it's illegal. Probably it's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, no one's really enforcing the law on bladder crystal mining. (laughs) Not yet, anyways. (laughs) That's right, until you (laughs) make a problem in the community with it, where they're like, you know, bladder crystals are everywhere now. Every street corner has bladder crystals. There's, like, fights going on, people throwing dollies at cars. Oh, fuck. All right. Pinning that. That's going to be a fucking hour and a half right there, boys. Probably. Um, What have you been up to, Michael? uh, I started watching Sopranos. Okay. So I'm, like, two discs deep in that show. Oh, you have, like, you own the Sopranos? Yeah, I went on, well, like... I bought yourself a gun? (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. 
That was good. That was a good one. Forever my boo boo boo. <laughs> yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead. You I just I went out and bought myself a DVD of the season first. <laughs> that should have been a really that would have been like a good like commercial for like the VHS or like the box set. Go out this morning, get yourself a copy of the Sopranos. Like, oh, <laughs> they're doing the thing. Well, if they only knew to call you like yeah. ten years ago to no, market legit. Them. Like, if you're out there and you like the jingles that Michael and I make, you can hire us. We make good jingles. And I say we because it's a talent duo. It's not me by myself. I'm not like Bono when he went solo. He did go solo, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. What was his original band? Oh, uh, a handful of Bono. <laughs> it was U2, but okay. <laughs> handful. Of, you heard it first. Handful of Bono. <laughs> that sounds so hot. Remember how we Googled if that was a real porn? Someone Google if Handful of Bono is some kind of fan porn. It's gotta be. <laughs> too, too good. Okay, so you bought The Sopranos season one. Yeah, so I started watching that. Then I... Uh... Started playing, well, I beat the Order of Order 1886, we'll talk about that in a bit if we have time, um, and then started playing The Last of Us, because everybody keeps telling me how amazing this game is. And it came out in 2012, so yeah, no time to actually get around to it. Apparently. I don't know what the hype is. Yeah. Not, not yet, anyways, so um, we'll get into that. What's the first topic of the day? We are talking about UFC stuff. Okay. That's what I wrote first, because that was what I was thinking, so. I just threw up in my mouth. Ooh, a sour burp. That was gross. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a Chinese food. Don't eat. Don't let your kids eat Chinese food. Don't let your children grow up to eat Asian food. Because they'll get the scoots. A school doobly bop. Um, UFC stuff. UFC stuff. Lots happening right now. Yeah. So at this time of the air, UFC 223 will be over. But in the news right now... This comes up Monday. Yeah, I know. We'll be over by then. Yeah. It's on Sunday? It's tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Are you sure? Yeah. Fuck you, Brendan. Piece of shit. Um, that has the balls to still invite me home. Yeah. It's like, it's been 80 hours. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Sorry. So, 223? Yeah. So, that's UFC 223. Is it, it actually the 223rd UFC? Like, yep. Since since day one. Um, that's cool. Yeah, so, uh, that's really cool. obviously, Connor's in the news right now because he attacked a bus full of UFC fighters, including Khabib not. Habib Nurmagomedov, I think I pronounced that. You're really good. good at those names. Thank you. Honestly, no one gives you credit like they should for those <laughs> names. And uh, so he went to today. He went to court and he was like, "Fine," but I don't know if a lot of people know the backstory to this. Well, so, listen, buddy. so this started uh, a while ago when um, Tony Ferguson dropped out of the card. So if you didn't know, Tony Ferguson was fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov. Um, so what happens was. Could be or uh, Tony Ferguson was doing press, mm -hmm. and he was apparently he was wearing sunglasses inside. And he someone said hi to him, and he like turned around to say hi, and then he ended up tripping over a thick like wire. Oh, and like and then, shit, and tore his whole fucking muscle off his knee. Man, wow! I think it's overtraining your body. So then, so like, all the you're muscles so are like susceptible to like exactly, damage. exactly. It's like having like a very low immune system, right? It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. So you know what? Like, that sounds legitimately real. Like if you just train too much, like your body just like you could just yeah, just break like, stuff. Get breaks easily. Muscle torn, super super easy. Because like tripping over something, you wouldn't think like tearing your whole fucking knee apart. Like yeah. yeah. Like, he has to go get surgery. That bad, eh? It's that bad. Usually it heals up in five weeks because it's so bad he needs surgery. He fucking must have spilled hard, dude. Apparently, man. Fuck. Down a flight of stairs, off a building, <laughs> through the Himalayan mountains. I saw <laughs> ah, him on my way. It's just that scene on a hot rod when oh, he's like this fucking barrel down. rolling. Um, so then he was out. So Conor McGregor tweeted before that, like, uh, stay ready, everybody. Like, he was going to jump in if anything happened. So what happened was Max Holloway got the call and he took the fight and everybody's like, what, what the fuck, Connor? Like, you didn't take the fight. So Khabib went to t Twitter being like, basically like, uh, you say stay ready, but you don't actually go for your fights. Like, talking a bunch of shit. So then Artem Lobov, who trains with uh, Conor McGregor, like, they're like really, really close friends. Basically, the only reason why he's in the UFC is because of Conor McGregor. Okay. Because record's shit. He's 13 and 13. Oh, you're mentioning yeah. this guy. Yes, yes. Has, has that ever happened where like... Connor's like, I'm going to go to the fight, and then, like, gets the fight, because I don't think he ever has, right? Like, has he ever been like, I'm going to take this fight, and then just jump in and take the fight? Like, has he done that ever? No, the only time I can think of is when, uh, uh what's his name, Nate Diaz showed, like, took that fight on six days notice, right? Oh, but that's, that's the, the only time, time he, around, he yeah, exactly, it? he didn't jump and, like, 
Because they want to market him. And that's what Dana White said. Like, we're not going to give the guy the fight because we need to market him. Yeah. Because he's a big... He's the yeah, name. Yeah, he's, he's a lot f- of money. Yeah. Lots of money. And so what happened was... so. Artem Lobov took to social media being like, hey, uh, Khabib, you lose, like, you you pull out of so many fights because of your weight. Like, what are you talking about, Khabib? Or, uh, Connor's never even, like, pulled out of one of his fights. And you're, like, always, always missing weight and shit like that. So, I guess they're at the same hotel room. Oh. And they all cornered Artem Lobov. And he basically, like, slapped him and, like, grabbed him by the back of the neck. Like, yeah. pulled him, like, right in close to, like, nose to nose. And he's like, you stop talking shit about me. But it was all in Russian, so I have no idea what they said. But it was <laughs> They're fucking... both Russian? Yeah, they're both Russian. That's fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like Civil War. <laughs> yeah, so they're just like fucking like nose to nose, and he's like just fucking giving him a talk. You know, he got his finger in his face and everything. Oh, so... that's such a fucking sign of disrespect. So, Someone's got their yeah. finger wiggling in your face. <laughs> yeah, so Connor here about this. He gets a, his plane full like 20 guys from Ireland, drives to Brooklyn... Gets people on the inside because he has his own media corporation called Mac Life. So they got him in. Like, he had no access being in this building. So they were like, hey, come in. From the inside, they let him in. That's fucked. Well, he, he is like, the, yeah. he's a big yeah. name, right? So him and 20 fucking goons, inclu- including Artem Lobov, which I don't understand why Artem Lobov just didn't stay home that day. Yeah. Just stay home because you got to fucking fight, you idiot. So... They find the bus that Khabib's on, which are, I think are like... Four or five other fighters from the red corner are also like, in this bus. It looked bus. like a party bus almost. Like, yeah, it was kind of like a like party not bus. not a it protected was a, bus. Yeah. No, no, not at all. So he grabs a... Conor McGregor grabs a dolly, smashes the window. The window breaks, ends up cutting... Because Michael Chiesa was sitting right in that seat next to the window. Oh. So ended up cutting his face up. Well, they're probably all looking out the window too, right? Like there's a posse of people outside. Yeah, exactly. So they're they're, they're like, taping what? it and stuff like yeah. that. They're like, what the hell is going on here? So then... The bus tried to leave, and they, like, basically stopped it and kept throwing stuff and trying to break the bus up. And so, immediately, like, they left. Um, the people, uh, so, Michael Chiesa went to the hospital with lacerations on his face. Uh, Ray Borg says he got um, glass in his eye, so he got pulled from his fight because the doctors found out they actually cut into his retina. Which is, that's, that's life-changing. Extremely dangerous. You can lose your sight. Um, and then it broke... Uh, one of the UFC employees' hands. So three people were injured, two people had to pull out of fights, and then Artem Lobov was kicked off his fight. He so was that's... pulled from the card. Even though he he really didn't, like, in the video, you don't see him grabbing anything, not that I could see, he's but just, he's just he's there. there. That's so like it's like, why be there? Yeah. And it's like, and why you attack a bus full of people, not just Khabib? Like, Khabib was fine. Yeah. Like, he didn't, like, sustain yeah, any damage. He wanted to get off the bus and fight him. They wouldn't let him. Obviously, for Jump reasons. Jump the window. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd have been stormed by 20 people. Because, like, yeah, you got to imagine, like, dangerous. Connor's yeah. party, like, posse isn't, like, a bunch of weaklings. They're probably, like, big dudes. They're all, probably all fighters. Yeah. Or gangsters. Like, all, from Irish mob and shit like that. Yeah. Um, so then, obviously, there was a warrant out for Connor's arrest and stuff like that. And, uh, so Dana White took to social media and was like, okay, this is what's going on. Like, I'm disgusted by his behavior. And they're like, oh, are you going to fire him? He's like, well, he's kind of contracted. We actually don't like, really have him as an... Like, he's not really an employee because yeah. they're contracted workers. Yeah. Um. So he's like, but he will be punished, like, severely. Like, he has several lawsuits against him. you got to think, like, the fighters that Trip can't damage. fight now yeah. are going to want their money. Yeah. Because they can't fight because of him. I If that was me... You just cost my kids food. Yeah, my fucking rent. It's not even. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's the point of the principle. I'm not yeah. going to get money now because of an act you've done. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And now I got to pay hospital bills. Yeah. So like, because in the states, that's not like here in Canada. You don't get mm. to go to the hospital and get a shit take. You go. You're paying. For you're paying you everything. Done. Yeah. Exactly. Medical is not covered. People take out like loans when they go to the hospital. Yeah. Like you 100%. don't go to the hospital. Like. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If you don't have money. You don't, or insurance. You're there. Like there's the door. Exactly. It's that's really fucked to think about. I know, right? Blows my mind. Like you were the walking clinic like once a fucking week. <laughs> I know. Imagine having to pay for that every time. You that's wouldn't. Crazy. I know you wouldn't. You wouldn't buy a big yeah. bag of pretzels once because yeah. it was too expensive. <laughs> You're not going to the clinic and cost you hundred bucks a pop. I think I'll live. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's gangrene. I'm gonna be fine. I'll be Are fine. you a doctor? Yeah. No, you're not. So. You don't even know what it's like. Google it. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> it's a lot worse than what I got. Yeah. <laughs> I think oh, you're worse. But so, you're absolutely right. Like when you're when you're when you told me that his bail was posted at fifty thousand dollars, that's a slap in the face. How yeah. much money do you think McGregor's worth? Oh, he's worth a hundred million. So fifty thousand dollars is what was that? That's his bail money, but he still has court. So that's just for him to go leave. 
Yeah. Like, you can't leave. But what I mean is, But, like, yeah, some people have bail at a million dollars, right? Like... Yeah, and... Some people have bail set so high that they can't afford it. They're, they're staying in jail. So, yeah. yeah. Um, he has a... Literally can commit a crime, day of, be arrested... It's basically like five dollars out of our pocket. Yeah. Be like here, here's some change. Have a yeah. good life. I'll see yeah, you later. I'll see, see you in well, court. His, his court's down on June 9th, I believe. So that's Kelsey's birthday, which is funny. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna be watching the trial. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so Dana White said he talked to Conor McGregor, like the the night, and he's like, "Does he sound like they asked a couple of really good questions in the interview? Like, did he sound remorseful at all?" And he's like, "Of doing the act, no, he didn't sound remorseful at all." Uh, he didn't want, like, because Ro- Rose was there in the car. and Who's like Rose? His Ro- wife? No, uh, Rose, I can't say her last name, but she's a fighter. She's fighting, or she has fought when this comes out. Um, she could be the champion. She could maybe not be the champion at this point. Um, but, yeah, so when the dolly came in, she was, like, right close to it. She didn't get hit with anything. She just got really startled. She got, like, really scared. Yeah. She ended up, like, walking back to her hotel instead. She was just there. Yeah, so, like, Connor's like, I didn't mean that to happen, like, to her, like, I didn't mean to, and I'm sorry that I got, like, those people hurt, that wasn't my intentions, and it's like, when you're throwing a dolly through a window and you don't know who's on the other side, you know that, like, your intentions is to hurt people regardless. Yeah. You you think there's one person on that bus? No, there's a bus full of people. Exactly. And, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever been, like, like, a party or, like, in your, like, where it's, like, mob mentality kicks in, like, everyone's there, like, yeah, we're gonna fucking trash this bus, it's and scary. everyone's, like, getting on board with yeah, this, right? Yeah, exactly. And then shit gets out of hand so quickly. And he just ends up doing some shit you're going to regret the next yeah. day. And like, yeah, you throw one dolly and you're done. No, you know what this really is reminds me of? Old fucking WWE. Like when they do like stuff? backstage. Yeah. And like the limo would pull up and the guy would come out and smash the window and pull the <laughs> guy out. candy glass. Yeah, exactly. It's all just like a sh- It's obviously all fake and yeah. stuff like that. That's, what, that's, that's what what exactly this, what it is. What would you do if this was all fake? If this was all staged, I I, uh, I can't believe it'd be all staged. Just, Imagine like just okay. just if they just like it on is, an off chance that this was like all to heighten a big fight yep. to, for them to make trillions. Um, Fuck, <laughs> I I would be uh, disgusted. Yeah, that that an organization that was like built on your trust as a real yeah fighting organization would trick like uh, their their um. Cause like customers into thinking that this is actually going on when it's not. Because like, then think of it this way: if all, if all that's fake, what about what's UFC real? would be real? You know what I mean? Like yeah, exactly. that could be all stage shit. But mm-hmm. here's the thing: I don't really, I didn't watch a lot of wrestling when I was younger. But did, was everyone always aware that wrestling was fake? I don't think so, dude. I don't think because people, people were... I because I remember people thought wrestling was real. Yeah, I think so and too. People still defend the like. Yes, I mean wrestling is real, but I'm saying like. Real like fights, real it's as arguments. Real as it is, like we know it's fake. Like it's all staged in the back. But like when someone's actually like getting picked up and slammed on the ground, they're obviously getting picked up and slammed on the ground. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt as much as they make it out to be, right? It's all like professional stunt men doing exactly. It. Like that's their job to do that, and it's not like someone's actually getting knocked out or. Could something you imagine like if we're on the front most lines of UFC being fake? That would that would mind blow. Honestly, I would be like that. I'm impressed. Yeah. 200 you got us. 223 events, and now yeah. you're telling us it's all <laughs> fake. Dude, I was on the fucking hype train, like... You're a big McGregor. Are, what I, you, what's your feeling on like, McGregor right now? I, fuck McGregor, dude. I, I like Diaz more. I yeah. like... When I was, like, back when I was watching the fights, You want to like, know what Diaz said? <laughs> He's like... Uh, Diaz made a, a tweet and he was like, you roll up on him while he's by himself and you expect nothing to happen, Khabib? Like, seriously? Wait, when did... When, like, Khabib showed up and was, like, putting his finger in his face to oh, Artem and he's like, yeah. you roll up on his boy by himself, like, while he's by himself and you expect nothing, like, no retaliation. Gang retaliation, I get it. Yeah. You. And then he's just like, I slapped both y'all. And, and, like, I slapped both your team. And he's like, just kind of talking shit, which he did, like... Basically, like, obviously the him with him and Connor. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I don't know if you ever know this, but, um, so back, not backstage, this happened at an event, uh, Nate Diaz actually slapped Khabib in the face. There's a video of it. He's got that, he, he's yeah, famous for a slap, this right? huge fucking, like, there, you could Google this shit, like, just, like, uh, um, like, was it Nate Diaz and, like, uh, Khabib? Go at it, and there's a fucking huge mob scene, dude. At uh, this, everybody's ripping every part. People are fucking fighting and shit like that. That's it's crazy. Fucking awesome, it's man. crazy, man. At one point in my life, yeah. I like to be part of like a gang fight. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just to be there, just to like yeah. feel the energy. Because you'll never feel anything like that in your entire yeah. life. Like us, will never be part of a gang yeah. fight. I wouldn't. If you want to see something really crazy, type in uh, Nate Diaz. Um, I think it. I can't remember the actual name, but it's uh, 
Jason May and Miller and Nate Diaz, they fucking, he comes in the ring after one of their guys wins a fight. I think it's Jake Shields. He wins a fight and he comes in to like get the mic and talk shit. They fucking beat, like Nate Diaz, his whole team beat the shit out of this guy in the ring. Why? They all just fucking stomp him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I think they thought he was going to attack them. So they just beat him up. <laughs> I mean, in his defense, yeah. you did come in here kind of hot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you got stomped. We'll watch the video later. It's pretty insane. That's I haven't actually, watched it in a while. It's kind of fucked up. It's, that's the things, like, these people are rich. They gotta realize that. Like, they hold a lot of money. So, like, realistically, they go and fight some random person. They're just getting a fine. Like, they're not going, they're not murdering people. Yeah. Like, there's a big, like, line there. You know what I mean? I know. That's kind so, of fucked up. So, we'll see if Connor even fights this year. He's a hundred, like, he's obviously getting the strict, stripped of the belt because that was already happening anyways. Well, because he can't have two belts, right? That's like yeah, the whole exactly. reason. Like you can, like, you can win two, but you can't keep two, right? Like, well, no, he has zero belts now. Oh, really? He's not a champion at all in any division. Really? Yeah. That's because of he this got one. stripped of that belt prior, and he was getting stripped of the, this new belt because it's been uh, in September. It'll be two years since his last fight, aside from the Mayweather fight. Yeah, right? exactly. Which had nothing to do with the uh, the UFC, right? Yeah. Because so he's held this division up for over two years, no, or almost two years. Why would he... It's because he's rich, right? Like, he doesn't need to Yeah, fight. exactly. Basically, because they want to keep him happy. Yeah. And um, he actually tweeted before, like, the day before he did... Or the day of, like, he did all that shit. He tweeted out, like, you're not taking no fucking belt from me and shit like that. But it's like... You're going to take... Either defend or vacate. Defend or vacate. That's, that's it. In a way, you got a point. Like, you're not... Yeah. Like, if you can't like, let You're people... fucking other people from making good money. Yeah. Because they can't be the champion now. Let that... Let it's them... like, no, wait. Maybe it's because you can't compete in that division. That's why you can't... Like, you think that's the case? I think that's why he went after that fucking van instead of saying at the, at the end of the fight and be like, me and you are fucking going at it next. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm fucking you up. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. That would be huge. But see, Even Dana thing... White said, I can have got that fight done in a couple months uh, as long as Khabib was healthy. Like, the... you, that fight was yours. Yeah. If you want to, but you did this shit, now you don't get that fight. That's the thing though, right? Who is McGregor? McGregor is this like cocky fucking... McGregor is the most famous athlete in the world at the moment. Yeah. A hundred percent. Do you meet any other athlete that's more well known? I don't. MMA fans or like non MMA fans know who Conor McGregor is. Everyone knows who. Conor Everyone McGregor. knows who Conor McGregor is. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, if Conor starts losing fights, Conor's gonna lose his name and his rep. So exactly. in a way, he's kind of leaving. The, like, if like, I'm not saying he is, but let's say he leaves the UFC now, he still has that huge reputation, right? Like, what could have been? Yeah, which is kind of pathetic, right? Yeah. Like, how many fights has he had? I don't know his total fights. Do you know his like his his win ratio? Has he ever beside from the Nate? He's only lost two fights, right? I think so. I believe I could be wrong. He may have only lost one fight. Um, he's got an impressive catalog of highlights. Yeah. That I've seen over multitudes of time that I don't want to see anymore. Yeah. Um, he's just he is an amazing fighter. But then again, he fought a lot of stand up guys. Not a lot of uh, not saying like he didn't fight hard fights. He just fought a lot of guys that were stand up and not ground fighters. Yeah. So. We'll see what happens. Like, I watched uh, Ali Quinta, who's fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov now. Those, so that, that fight will be over. But, like, I saw his highlights, and it's actually pretty impressive. And he's got some pretty big wins on his career. That's fucking sick. Mm-hmm. You know how many wins I have in my career? None. Zero. I'm looking to get that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> the one they play at my funeral, like, the, the highlight. Uh, tonight, actually, I kind of wanted to watch it, uh, is um, Benson Henderson versus uh, Roger Huerta. And that's in Bellator, okay. not in UFC. That's the division yeah. lower, right? You, uh, like, win in Bellator? No, no. It's just not as big as UFC, but it's, like... Okay. They do pick guys from Bellator. Okay. But Bellator, like, a lot of old UFC fighters go to Bellator as well. Um, but, yeah, so Roger Huerta is, was the first UFC fighter on... Uh, what's it called? He was the first one on... Um, What's that fitness magazine? What's the famous... Sports Illustrated. He was the first UFC fighter ever on a Sports Illustrated cover. Okay, cool. Um, and there's also a video of him on YouTube of this big fucking... I don't know if he was black or not. I think... The last time I watched a video, I think it was like... They talked about some big black football player. Okay. But I I could be wrong. It could be a big white football player. It could be. We don't see colors. I, we I, see facts. I think I, I just watched it recently, and I think that's what they said. But this dude fucking cold cocks this woman... Un- unannounced like just, just like hits her right from behind knocks her out and this guy's like almost like probably 300 pounds like he's a really big dude the football guy yeah and this girl's like tiny just and so she's so, out yeah so roger huerta sees this like this is the outside of a club someone's filming it and so like roger huerta is like probably i think around my height maybe a little bit okay so he's, he's the average height of a man yeah 
And he's shredded. Yeah. <laughs> and so the guy's like, he's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? He's like, I'm going to fucking teach you some manner. He's like, oh yeah, come on, pussy. Let's see what you got. So then fucking Roger Wertha takes his shirt off. This guy starts running. And then like, all you see is basically like, they're not as fast as these guys. So the cameraman catches up to him and it's just the guy laying face down on the ground. And he's just like, Roger Wertha's just booting him in the face. Fuck, that's some good legal. justice. That's fucked because like, man, if someone was like... I think you're in the UFC. Like, this guy, like, I'm, you know what? I take it back. You can hit me for hitting that girl. Yeah. I'm not going to run. You're going to find me anyway. You're yeah. really fast. <laughs> well, that'd be a fight I'd like to see. Benson Henderson used to be a champion in UFC and stuff like that. So, and this is his, like, fight coming back. So, it's going to be, it's going to be a really good scrap, I think. Fuck yeah, man. Um, But Con- but Conor McGregor in the UFC, you think, you think he's out? You think he's done forever, bro? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think he's done forever. Think he's I think f- he's going to get a good fucking talking to. I think he's going to get fined a lot. You think he's going to fight I think there's going to be a lot of shit. I think he's going to have to do a public apology. I think once he does a public apology, I think... That'll probably help his PR a little I bit. I think it's helped his PR quite a bit, because if it's, if it's actually heartfelt, I think he'll gain most of his fans back. Um, I don't think anyone fucking cares. If they're a yeah. McGregor fan and McGregor trashes a bus, they're on it. You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. I'm completely disgusted by his act. I'm disgusted by... I wanted to see Artem fight. So I think it was really stupid. I think his career is gone now. Because now you're seeing a fight that you're not. I'm not seeing, seeing a fight. A fi- I'm I'm not seeing three fights because of them. So that upsets me. That's a- as a fan, I want to see those fights. Yeah. Um, and it's like you're you're acting out of as a child, and you need to grow up. This yeah. is a sport, and you're embarrassing it. This isn't a fucking. This isn't. You're making the sport look out what everybody thinks it's about. Just it's a not bunch watching. of thugs beating each other up. Exactly. No class. No decorum. No rules. Just. Street yeah. fighting, make and them bus look punching. like fucking idiots. Yeah, and that's not what the sport is about. The sport's honestly been like working hard, make it trying to, to make build it. A, name. Yeah, make it, it is official, organized. like a real sport, not just a bunch of fucking goons that want to go and punch each other in no. the head. Right? Oh, uh, mixed martial arts fighting though. That's like a that's an Olympic sport, isn't it? No, not mixed martial arts. Uh, wrestling's a sport. Yeah, that's real wrestling. That's yeah, not, that's not fun to watch. Yeah, uh, real wrestling is really homoerotic. <laughs> <laughs> like really. Hot to watch. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll have to see what like goes on with like his uh, proceedings and stuff like that. Everybody's talking about it right now. It's fucking. I literally tracked it. Like I track Ariel Hawani because he rep- he was in the fucking courtroom at Meg Gregor's thing. Oh really? Like, so he was report like he's a reporter, so he was reporting every fucking minute that anything changed. So I was following him like all day today, Fuck trying yeah. to figure out, like all the news, and I want to know who was picking up after when Max Holloway dropped out. Cause that that was I honestly I watched the weigh-ins just because I knew something bad was gonna happen. I'm yeah. like, literally, I sent Everett a picture yesterday, and it was the guy from fucking Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and he's like, "You're all doomed." And I'm like, "This is UFC two twenty three. <laughs> I just don't like this card's falling apart yeah. at the seams. Like, there, I think there was twelve fights. Now they're down to nine. Fuck. Or there are fourteen fights. Does anyone have some nine. dogs we can have fight each other? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Vick, where is he? <laughs> he has some armadillos we could square off with. <laughs> um, how, st- how awesome would that be? Like, they just have, like, dog fights before the fucking, like, UFC? That's fucked. That's fucked. Um, I, somebody tweeted something really funny, and it was like, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure I've told you about the, uh, um, Mary... Was it Mary I'm not exactly, or Steve Mazzagotti? Steve Mazzagotti. He was a ref that let that girl get beat up for yes. a long time. So somebody was just like, you know what would be justice for Conor McGregor? Throw him in with Khabib and let uh, Steve Mazzagotti be the ref. <laughs> and they're like, that's justice. I'm like, oh my god, that's funny. Knock him the fuck out. Oh, and just keep going. <laughs> what did you say? The significance strikes the other person line. It was like two. Yeah, it was. It was. Two to like two to like 56. Yep. I think it was like two to 200. That's so funny. It was fucked. We should watch that fight at some that's point. so fucking stupid. It's insane. Michael, I'm going to make you a best friend promise right now. <laughs> I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> if you ever get to fight and and someone there's counting significant strikes, you've landed two and we're any point past a minute, I will call the fight. <laughs> That's much. Better. I respect you. Ditto. I respect. You. I don't want to bring home a vegetable. <laughs> Neither do I. You think that person walked away from that fight going yeah. like, honestly, we had a good bout. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no, not even in the slightest. <laughs> you, you put a mosquito against an elephant. You killed her. Yeah. Fuck. 
<laughs> oh, dude. And nobody so there. Sad. Pe- the fans watching must have been like, enough. Oh, even like fucking Joe Rogan. I don't know if it was Joe Rogan, but he's like, this needs to end. Like, stop. It's over. Yeah. Like, scream. I would literally go to the, the door, open it up. Okay, we're done. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. But like, you're the coach. Throw in the fucking towel. Yeah. It, like... Well, Seriously. What do you think the pep talk was prior to? No matter what happens, the fight goes on. But I know. what if you get... No matter but what happens. The whole reason why the ref is there? To save the fighter from, from themselves. Yeah. And harm. Because that's... that's When you're in a, on adrenaline high, the thing you're thinking of is, I can keep going. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I'm not beat up that bad, you know? Like, you're fucking bad. <laughs> like, you're, you're done. Like, you're finished. You're yeah. taking... Like, you're taking... Like, punishment that's unneeded yeah, to be beyond taken. Beyond the point. Because she, she got submitted and tapped out. That's what. That's how that fight oh, ended. Oh, yeah, and they didn't, call, he, he didn't, didn't even, see it. He didn't even stop it. Oh, I remember. When she was getting the shit kicked out of her for, like, two minutes straight. I remember. Oh, I fucking remember. Like, I remember watching it, and I'm like, I would have called this fight. Like, I'm not a ref, but at the times I would have been like, I would have called it right there. I would have called I would have called it three times before yeah. I stopped well, how many it. fights have you seen that they called the fight when it's like, Why? A couple. They could have been like they could have kept going. I've seen. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen two like that. I can't remember. I know the one when they were like when McGregor was fighting Mayweather. When they called that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was, was kind of like that was eh. a close. Like the thing is in boxing. Yeah. The guy gets knocked down, right? Yeah. And then you count it. You don't just go, hey, hey, okay, he's yeah. done. No, you wait till that guy hits the fucking canvas. Yeah. Okay. I, well, that was the other fight that we were watching where they were against the cage and they were like kind of like almost like struggling and then they called the fight. I'm like, what? Yeah. They weren't even done. Yeah, I've seen some bad ones. There's even this one where like um. So, the guy got him an arm bar, and then Herb Dean was like, oh, it's done, it's done. And he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, your arm is broken. Was it actually? It was broken in three spots. Oh, And fuck. You, the video footage shows his arm popping right there. But he didn't feel it or didn't even realize it I was think happening. he knew, but he just didn't want to stop fighting. Like, admit like, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you stop the fight? He's like, <laughs> no, you mean he was like this? He's like, you want fuck? him to take your, his, your arm home with him? Is that what you want? You want to have one arm? I would like to keep fighting, yes! <laughs> but that's how tough these guys are, man. Imagine somebody snapping your arm. Dude, and I stubbed my toe on the bed and I cried. I, I gave up. <laughs> my bed submitted me more times than I've ever made a fight in my entire life, dude. Fuck, it's retarded. Wow. Like, I don't even... I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> but, alright. Um, well, we, 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 we're no. not going to keep you updated on everything that happens. But if anything crazy happens, follow the, the Pod Fiction it, Twitter and we'll, we'll, tweet, we'll tweet it out. We we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna follow this. You could, you could follow it. You can go to your local library, and get but a library card. I gave you a lot of information that I had to pull from several sources, and you get it right here. Just yeah. saying, yeah. just saying. Come back just saying. in what a what? couple weeks, and we'll do the same thing with more UFC updates. Exactly. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give, give a, a fuck, fuck about what? you. There's a hundred motherfucking All things. Right. <laughs> So let's talk about let's get back on games. Um, yes, you're, because you're I know sure. people don't really come here to talk about the Elvis fighter, but people do like Conor McGregor. So and you know what? Sue me, bitch. Conor McGregor is on two video game covers. That's true. That's so a fact. that's relatable. Actually, three in the Japanese. Hey, <laughs> Akuna Mugurugaru. <laughs> Akuna Matata. <laughs> <All right, laughs> Wonderful so, phrase. So talk to me about that Japanese game that you've been playing. Oh, for my birthday, I got Nino Kuni two. Which is the follow to the game, you know, Nino Kuni 1. Yes. Ooh, I thought I knew it, and I did. <laughs> I got a point. So Nino Kuni 1 is the game that I spent a lot of time with. A lot of time with. Nino Kuni 2 is the game that I'm going to spend a lot of time with. Uh, in Nino Kuni 1, I probably put about uh, 40 to 60 hours into. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I spent almost a half of... I, I spent a whole, like, autumn... I spent half of my year playing this game yeah I spent a whole season playing it I, Man, that's crazy and I remember like I just honestly when you say that I just see like a window of the trees changing color and you not moving just yep. maybe the shirt color changing yep. just like Man, I like those sequences in movies. <laughs> They're nice. We should try to do one of those for something. But, uh, so, and that came out in 2013, and I didn't really play it until I'd say probably two or three years ago. Um, and I fucking loved it. Yeah. You play as like this character, and you have like little creatures that you can, like, summon and stuff. It's kind of like Pokemon, almost, where you can, like, uh, the creatures you have, like, can evolve and stuff, and they can get them, make, make them stronger, and they, like, turn into, like, a different, cooler creature and stuff. So the whole point is, like, you go around, like, you, you do the story, but, like, the creatures you catch can, like, fight and stuff. But it's a really cool story. You know Kuni 1, basically, you you and your friend make a boxcar, uh, and if 
you make a box car and then you're playing, but you fall into the river, like because okay. it's like raining and stuff. So it's like really cold, and your mom tries to like go in and save you, but she ends up going in a coma, and you and you and you come out of it. So you're like crying because she dies, like your mom dies, and they like you're like really upset. And then like a little fairy appears, and he tells you that there's like this <laughs> magical world that like you can like go to and stuff, and you can. So your mom dies, and a fairy comes and takes you away. Into like that's a... really depressing. It is. It sounds like you know what this sounds like. She was getting high. <laughs> You're getting some, some fairy dust fairy in my... Fairy was kind of a crack dealer. <laughs> I put the fairy in my butt cheeks and I yeah. get fucking stoned for hours. <laughs> so you go to this other world and you find out that, like, you can you can bring your mom back. Like, you, every person in the world has their own counterpart in this world. And you can, like... Cut back to reality and it's just this woman with three teeth <laughs> fucking doing a rain dance in, the, in a parking lot. <laughs> you know what? I like the other version a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go back to the fairy world. So anyway, the whole point of the game is you trying to like find your mom in the other world so you can bring her back to life in real life. Um, but it's a really it, the game is made by the same people who make like a lot of famous anime movies, like Studio Ghibli. Okay. So it, that's what it was like a big thing. So they made the second one. They're like in 2018, like we're making a new Dino Kuni game, um, and it's equally as awesome. They that's changed awesome. all of like the gameplay stuff, so you don't collect monsters anymore. It's just you. And and like your like teammates. That's weird because usually games like really, really stick to the same That's formula, which is scary when you mix up because you're obviously gonna get a mixed response. But here's the thing: it's equally as fun, if not more fun, than the original game. That's awesome. Yeah, they like implemented like new like mechanics, new systems, and like the whole thing is different. But it's like there's more to it now. So before it would just be like combat, like you you enter a combat zone, then you like fight pe- people. Then now there's like there's RTS elements, like where there's like you have to like actually strategize you like build your own kingdom so like you have to like pick like you build buildings and you assign citizens to go to those like buildings and work on tasks and each citizen has their own like approved tasks so they're better at certain places than others like that's kind of there's a lot to do in it and right now i'm like 25 hours into it and i think this game's gonna i think but i don't know so basically this whole the whole how pissed off would you be if you put like another hour and it was finished well that's what i'm thinking like i i think i'm kind of close to the end question mark question mark question mark because the whole point is you you're in this kingdom right and i don't even know how these two games like i don't know how nino kuni one and two tied to each other because yeah. there's no it's not a direct sequel it's not a prequel there's it's just it's just completely thousands different of, i think it's thousands of years difference like that's wow. how far apart they are so you start off this game and you're you're a king in in this world and and this your father dies oh, has like, no direct correlation no. to the the only that's the cool. only same is you're in a place called Ding Dong Dell which is like a really it's like a cute like little fairy I would have laughed really hard if I wasn't yawning <laughs> at that point <laughs> and Ding Dong Dell is in the first game too like it's the first town you go to <laughs> as like the kid so it's like it's what's the town called again Ding Dong Dell <laughs> <laughs> Ding Dong uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wiener <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so your dad, your dad dies, like, and you don't ever meet your dad. So then you're now, you're now the king of the like the place, and your whole town gets usurped. Like the people come in, they like they basically like usurp you, and you leave. So you found your own kingdom, and like you make a brand new kingdom, and you're going around because your character doesn't want war anymore. So you're trying to get all the other countries to sign. All right, I have two more countries to sign left, and I've got two to sign. I've already had like I've signed two, and I have two more to sign. So I'm like, that's maybe like I'd say ten more hours. And I'm thinking like. The game can't be done yet. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it's it's too early to quit. Yeah. Like, so I, like, so in oh. my mind, I'm like, what the fuck's gonna happen? Like, because mm-hmm. I hate spoilers, but at the same time, like, I want to try and figure it out while I'm playing it. So, yeah, it's blowing my mind. The only game that ever got me like that, it's called Kid Icarus Uprising. I got to the end of the game, and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm at the end of the game, and I put like, there's something above. It's a lot of snow outside. Yeah, snow. It's also right. April the sixth today, and it's snowing like crazy. Fuck me. I'm done with snow. With snow. Um. <laughs> But Kid Icarus Uprising, I got to the end of the game and I beat it, and it turns out, like, I, that was the halfway point. Damn. And, like, there's a whole other half of the game, I'm like, oh, plot twist! And it was, like, I was actually kind of That's blown amazing. away. That's amazing. That's so cool. The person you're trying to fight, like, the main boss, ends up being, like, manipulated by this yeah. other person, and you're like, oh, that's fucking cool. You know what's kind of cool? I just want to throw this in there. Um, the season pass for Far Cry 5 comes with Far Cry 3. That's the one with the guy that's with the knife in his hands. The oh, one like you used... get Far Cry 3 yeah, for free it. with I it? Kinda, and I know, I don't know, I don't think they're backwards compatible, so I kind of want to get Far Cry 3. Because remember, that's the one you said was awesome. You never, wait, okay, that's making any I sense. I gave it to you, but I never played it. But you gave me Far Cry 2. Was it Far Cry 2? The that one with the... sucks. No, that's why I was like, remember I was like, Far Cry 3 is awesome, and you're like, well, I have the second one, is it any good? And I'm like, oh. That's the one with are in Africa, right? Far you, Cry you get 2? malaria right yeah. in the beginning, and you have to spend the whole game getting malaria antidotes. It's dumb. That's stupid. I remember playing a bit of it, and I'm like, I don't like this at all. You gave all. it to me, I went and played it at my grandma's house, because I was down, I had just come down visiting, and I was like, this game <laughs> actually blows. <laughs> 
But yeah, it comes with Far Cry 3, and I really want to play it, because you said it's awesome. Far Cry 3 is good. Now, I don't know if it's going to be like Far Cry 4, where like once you play 5, 3 is not as good anymore, because I yeah. haven't played 5. 3 is sick. Three has like an actual really fucking good storyline. That's what I. That's what you're saying. I, I kind of want to play it. And everybody talks about like the villain's not as good as three. Yeah, the villain will never be as good as three. Like the, the they even said about this game, like the villain's good, but he's not as good as three. See, that's the thing. The vil- the boss fights in Far Cry I've always found are really dumb. Kinda, yeah. The, like my like, whole thing was either you let him escape, or you blow up the airplane. Oh, in in when he leaves, yeah, in y- Far Cry Four. Yeah. Sorry if that spoils. Far Cry 4. Boom. It's been out for like fucking four years, so I apologize. Yeah, it has been out for like four years. Yeah. Far Cry 3 is really, really good. Here's the thing about Far Cry 3, though. It's good, but there is room for improvement. Yeah. There's two storylines. One is overdeveloped, one is underdeveloped. Uh. So when you play it, you'll, you'll know what I mean. There's the good line and the bad line. I find the good line's like really, really good, and the bad one's like, that's it could have used a lot more work. But... Really fun game, really good characters, really good storyline, really good combat, and I love the fact that, like, if you want to carry more weapons, you got to kill animals and, like, make, like, a b- better backpack. Okay, yeah. Like, you can't just, like, get shit. You have to, like, yeah. earn it. That's kind of cool with, like, um, The Last of Us, is everything you pick up is shown on the backpack that you carry. Like, the bow, the gun, the yep. fucking... Everything. Pipe, like, everything. That's one thing that... The realism in that game bugs me. Like, how, like... How realistic it has to be. Yeah. One thing I don't like is the revolver shots. Like, pew. Pew. Yeah. Instead of going, poo, 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 poo. Like, yeah. pumping, like... You can't pump, like, shells in no. into a person. And fucking aiming so hard. I think... I think... The only thing I can think of that they would do it like that is, like, maybe they wanted to, like, implement, like, the importance of ammo. I think so. Like, don't waste all your bullets because yeah. you're going to need them. Like, I did you get fucking... to the scene when you were trying to get the battery from the bus? No. Oh, you're not very far at all. No, then. I'm not that far. Okay, dude. that's that scene. I literally just gotten. I just got to the part where I just met that weirdo. Okay, you're gonna do the mission next. That's the. Okay, that's, the that's when you're getting car parts. Yeah, that's exactly okay. the mission. Okay. The the scene like the mission after that is one of my favorite scenes in the whole game. It is sick. It may actually like like turn your head. Oh on, yeah. On on the the Last of Us is good, and it's it's got a lot of really good impacting cutscenes, but it's it's amazingness it's good qualities come from its simplicity because you can play that game on easy or hard and you'll get the same experience regardless it's what you want to put into it yeah if you really want like a hard challenge like we're like i was like mentioning before if you play it on hard and then go through the whole game like really you'll have to really scab you have to really pay attention you cannot waste ammo you have to like really conserve i honestly just like using my hands i like just punching zombies in the face but you can't punch clickers so i have the pipe yeah so i like using the pipe against them um so far, like, I'm a couple hours into the game. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, it gets better. Yeah. I think yeah. I think as well. Well, honestly, a game with that much hype around it, it has to get better. Keep, I, wanna, I actually want to... Oh, I booped really there. I don't yeah, know when it actually came out. Oh, I'm not sure. But I started playing... Uh, the. Well, I beat The Order 1886 because someone was like, oh, there's... Well, like, I heard that it was about a werewolf game. So I'm like, that's cool. It is kind of a werewolf game. It's kind of a werewolf game. It's not really a werewolf game, which pisses me off. There's like, honestly, in total, you kill like maybe six werewolves in the whole game. Werewolves are the problem, but werewolves aren't always present, which is the problem. No, and and apparently they're supposed to, I think you were the one that told me they're supposed to do a sequel of that game. No, they wanted to. They wanted to, but because they left it open, because the ending's fucking dumb. The The main villain gets away. It it was, the game was panned, dude. Like, the only... I can understand claim. why it got panned. The only claim that game has is it's good Amazing graphics. graphics, yeah. It's a beautiful game. Uh, the story mode's completely... Uh, it's only a story It's mode. almost unfollowable. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure half of what's going on. And then all the people that you like you are an acquaintance with turn their back on you later in the game yeah. without warning. It's yeah. kind of like, hey, it's kind of cool in a way because like, you go after like the head of the thing because he turns out to be a werewolf. Yeah. But nobody knows he's a werewolf. But there's, like, this whole fucking meeting where you're, like, locked up and everybody's talking shit about you and you just stay silent. It's like, like, fucking let it out so at least everybody knows about it. Yeah. Let everybody know your findings. You know, like, like, hey, that guy's a werewolf. He's a bad person. The only reason I was trying to do it was to kill him. Yeah. You guys need to believe me or do it, fucking do the research yourselves. I don't give a fuck. But the seed has been planted. Now you can think. Exactly. It's in your brain. Yeah. Also... This the game starts off at the end of the game, basically. Yeah, it does. When you're like, stupid. when you're like, when you're they're escorting you to the Which building, I, it makes no sense. Yeah, it makes no sense. I don't like when they show you the end at the beginning. I hate that too. There's this actually is the Law and Order. Yeah. 
The shooting's really fun in the game. Yes, it is. It's really responsive, uh, I find. Yeah, like, it feels game, good. Yeah, exactly. A lot better than The Last of Us, I find. There's a lot of different cool guns. I, that's what kept me playing, Yeah, is the cool guns you could use. What is it? like? It's five hours. It's not a long game. Like, it, that's, a, yeah, I think that's it took me generous. about like, close to like six or seven. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but, but think about it. That, see, the reason why it was p- panned so hard, because that game was 80 bucks when it came out, dude. Yeah. That was a full price retail. I don't know if that was... No, that was definitely after. That was the full price retail game. It was like almost 80 I would have fucking nine. lost my shit and been like, give me my money back. That was, I paid $17 for it, and it's just like... I got eh. my copy of the order for free. Good for you. <laughs> Someone gave it to me. You still got it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's decent. It's If you can get it for 10 bucks, it's... Uh, it's a good I, play. I, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it as a nah. game. If you're going to sit down and put some, invest some I time into a game... I actually never beat it either. I, I, I say no. If, if you're like, I'm going to pick it up and beat it, I'd be like, there's probably a better game you could play. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend it. If if it's a game you want to play because there's werewolves in it, don't play that game. No. Play, play something else. else. Yeah. <laughs> not a lot. I know there's not a lot of werewolf games out there, but you can look That's, around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make one. Write a yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a walk. Think about werewolves. You've done better. I thought 1886, like... Old time London. That's yeah. when like the crazy werewolf shit. I thought it was gonna be really like, like that's what everyone what, thought, dude. That's I, I thought it was gonna be so fucking cool, dude. Like you're going on werewolf hunts and shit like that. Think about how your heart feels right now. That's how I felt playing No Man's Sky, dude. Oh, dude. I was ready to have that game be everything and more. I wanted it to be, and it was not close. I, how bad did that get banned? Pretty bad. Yeah, pretty fucking bad. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's completely. And it's like the one part that upset I know upsets you the most is that when you claim a like a planet, it's basically gone anyways. Yep. So there's yep. no point in doing it. Nope. It's and I thought like remember when we were talking about like it's so cool because there's infinite infinite amount of yeah. planets you can get to, yeah. and it's like I remember because you're like because the game keeps creating while you're playing. It does, but that's not a good thing. No. See what I liked. Just think about it. It's still even though no one's playing, it's still creating. <laughs> that's well, that's what really bugs me because like I like when I play a game. Th- this is kind of like the games that I play. If there's like a lot of missions and stuff, I will take every single mission I can. Yeah, that's the to game get I your play. full experience. I want out of like it. dude in Digimon, which haha, I beat it. Yeah, there we go. Haha, I, I beat it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. I beat it. Seventy eight hours, I did it. <laughs> like I'm done. <laughs> I'll take every mission I can in the game. I want to get the full experience. I paid all the money I paid to this game. I want as much as I can get mm. out of it. Right. So when I'm going into like. You know, No Man's Sky, and I'm like, I play, like, I find, like, a, a planet, and I'm exploring, I'm getting resources, I'm like, this is cool, I want to look at something else for a quick minute. I go, and then I can't travel back to that planet, that makes me really mad. Yeah, it's really pissy. Like, and, and you go in, and you name the planet, you name the creatures, you name the mountains, you name the You put so trees. much, like, investment into it, and then yeah. it's gone, it's like, well, the, you're not really creating, you're just erasing what I just did. Yeah. That's like, in Mario, when you go to the scroll in the box, it's all that's gone. gone. Yeah. So it's like... Now imagine if you named each block. Yeah, exactly. And it was like, these are my blocks. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, what if I, what if you come over and I'm like, yo, check out the fucking planets I've been developing. Like, you can't do that unless yeah. you stay on one planet. And you know what? As, as, as much as the game is bad, the game is good. It's really beautiful. Like, the game looks great. The planets are nice. It's yeah. fun naming stuff. It's fun finding it stuff. It just has so much room for improvement, it's right? just It's just like, why, why give me so much fun and then shit on me? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. I, I, and, and all I the might, planets are completely, like... It's it's full. It's a whole fucking planet, but yeah. there's nothing around that you're not like. You, there's no there's no missions, and most of the creatures look the same, and they talk in this dialect that you're trying to create, which is fucking stupid. You're trying to decipher this whole dialect, and it makes no fucking sense. It's just it's just I don't know. It's like why do I give a shit what they're saying? Once I when the fuck do I finally find out what they're saying? How many fucking planets do I have to go to? See, and and here's the thing: if everyone would have loved that game, and I didn't like that game, I'd feel kind of weird. But everyone hates that game. So it, it's to me, it's justified. It's like, all right, I'm not like the it, yeah. lone gamer here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everyone hates it. I yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. that It always helps when you have, like, a backing for something you don't like. It just so it's like, no, I... you don't like it too? I don't like it too. People love bitching about stuff together more than they like liking stuff together. Yeah. I'm, 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 the only thing I'm cheesed about is I ended up paying full price for that game. That's pissy. What's one thing that we both really liked? Like, game-wise? Just in general. I don't know. I, I, I think... We both like music. Hmm. No, like more like what? What movie did we both really enjoy? Oh man, that's a. We don't really watch movies together. Oh, never mind. Next point. Wait, do you ha- do you know what? No, no, I'm just thinking of something that's like think of how much we liked something, but how much we fucking hated 
the the Star Wars and how much we talked about that, right? Like, oh, people, yeah. I'm just trying to point forward. Like, people were really, like, bitching about shit more than talking about stuff they like. Did I just prove your point by not knowing anything that we liked No, no, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> prove any of in, in theory, I actually kind of disproved it to myself because I thought, of, like, well, Tenacious D, we both, well, we still really talk about that far past the amount of time we'll ever talk oh, about Last, yeah, last dude, Jedi, right? Like, I dig that a So lot. I kind of, di- I disproved my own point there. Um, th- I think, I think a lot of, like, our experiences with, like, media and, like, anything entertainment, it's really, like, independent of anything else. Like, it'll be here for a while, and then it's gone. And yeah. then we're on to the next thing. Which, I, I think is kind of cool, because, like, there's there's things that we like, and we see, and we love, and it stays with us, and then there's things that, like, then there's things that we, like, we experience, and then on to the next thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we don't ever have to stick on something, but if we want to, it's not, like, a bad thing. And and that's, I don't know, that's a good thing. You can, you can like stuff and not be, like, ashamed that you really enjoy shit. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. No. You should never bring ashamed of stuff to you, like, unless it's weird. And maybe keep it, maybe just don't talk about it. Maybe just don't maybe be just the grapist. Don't. Yeah. I'm a grape in the mouth! Wait a second. Yeah, hold on a minute. Sounds like, I'm, I'm gonna rape you. Whoa. No, that's what the video said. <laughs> You need to get your mind out of the gutter, Get your buddy. mind out of the gutter, sir. Fuck. Okay, games you've been playing, you didn't... You did mention both of them. I'm thinking Yes, I now. did talk about the last one. You showed me how many hours you played into UFC. How many was it? I... What was it was again? Was it a week? I think it was five days and seven hours. That's crazy. Something like that. That's how many hours I put in five days. And that's UFC 3. That's UFC 2. Oh, is it 2? That's 2, yeah. Oh, shit. 3 I don't have that's, many hours in. Really? I feel yeah. like you put way more into UFC 2 than that. How many hours is that? Hold on. 24 times 5. Uh, I don't know. Oh, right now, Michael. That's 100. T- then times 4 times 5. Oh, that's 4 times. Ah, uh, that's 125. I'm going to check that. Everybody don't move. I'm going to check that. 25 times 5. That's 125. As I was doing it, I was thinking of quarters in my head, and I'm like... That's what I thought. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's 5 quarters, and that's $1.25. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Myth mix! <laughs> I hope our employer doesn't listen to this. They're like, wow, they're really fucking stupid. You know what? I, I when I train people at work, like when someone's sitting with me, and I'm showing them something, and I like I start fucking it up. I'm like, you need to realize that I'm not the smartest person that could be teaching you. I'm just the most capable. Yeah. <laughs> Which in, I'm just the only person that's not teaching someone. <laughs> and they gave me someone. Um, I like, I like fucking with people. I mean, we've been I through that like before. Fucking, the, the Japanese. Have you fucked with anyone lately? No, but I, well, that's kind of what I was getting at. When I sit with new people, I like, like just like kind to of joke f- with them a little bit, like fucking with them, and you, see, like, but you test the waters first, so how oh, far you can yeah. push it. Like the girl I was sitting with today, I doubt you're listening to this, but if you are, you're a good chick. But you're a good chick. But she was the kind of person I couldn't run fucking like jokes with. Like you know, I'm not gonna yeah, fuck it's not her. like they're not gonna fly. You're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, and like, they're, they're just not gonna like come off funny. They're just gonna come off weird. And and here's the thing: people either take me in, in one of two ways. That guy's really funny. Or that guy's a fucking asshole. One and I hate the latter. Like I want people like I don't want people to think I'm an asshole. I want them to think I'm like, funny. Like that's yeah. the point. Like I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm Unless you're a dick, then I'm a funny dick. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm the funniest looking dick around. No, I just insulted my own penis. Um but <laughs> movies, shows, all that kind of stuff. We're really late into the fucking episode talking about this, but I know. Fucking UFC took up a lot of time and I, I like know. that. You know what? Let us know what you guys like. If you like Talk about UFC? Like, we can talk about more UFC. Like, Michael can... I have to listen to this can, all the I fucking time. I can give time. you the big white breakdown. The uh, big white breakdown? Yeah, it's because Brendan Schaub does the big brown breakdown. It's just... The big white brown breakdown doesn't sound... The big cool. white brown is the, the new name for my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> big white brown. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Okay. TV shows. You mentioned you're watching Sopranos. So yeah. So that's good. What are your... Because that show was really big when we weren't watching Sopranos. That was, show was huge. That was like eight, one of HBO's biggest fucking that's shows. That's what I mean. Like we weren't watching. We no, weren't watching no. it when it. Came I always out. heard of that was good, and I thought it took place in like seventies. Yeah, no, no, mafia. It, no, it's like late. Like it's. It was when, at this time. Yeah, it was at this time, nineteen ninety nine, when it came out. Yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely different. It's kind of cool. I like yeah. I like James Gandolfini. He, I really like him in that show. He plays a perfect mafia so kind of guy. Like yeah. I don't fucking like you. Just They're like, all like that. Just a bunch of fucking. It's rest. R.I.P. James Gandolfini. Oh, has he passed away? He passed away, yes. Like, real recently? Or like... Uh, I think like maybe two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You're, but he's you're... very very good in the show. He's obviously the main actor. Uh, it's a fun show. If you really like mafia stuff, it's it's definitely a show to check out. How far out. are you... Because last I checked, you were two episodes in. 
now I'm uh, this on the second disc. So I'm like six or seven episodes, and you're now. digging it. I dig it. I if I didn't dig it, I thing is like why I didn't... don't even say that's a bullshit accusation. What? If I didn't like it, I'd stop watching it. That's a fucking okay, lie. That's a lie. I watched a lot of shows I didn't like and kept watching it. <laughs> that's so I, Punisher, dude. Don't worry. I'm like ten episodes into Black Lightning. And I'm starting to think I like the show. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'm like I kept watching. I'm like it's okay. No! It's okay. No! And I'm like, I think I like this show. No! I'm gay. I'm digging it. I'm gay! I'm gay! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what would you do? I think the question is, what would I do if Black Lightning was the show that made you come out <laughs> of the closet? You're just sitting down with Kelsey, like, look over, like, I'm, I'm I think gay. I'm really into black dudes. I'm fucking, I'm gay. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Black Lightning is pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> um, nothing, nothing. Said those curtains kind of really rot. Hot. <laughs> I just imagine, like, should I, and, and it's uh, pro-choice, not whatever, if I ever end up being gay, or f- coming into the closet, I can't wait to know what my moment is when I realize that, like, yep, I like penis now. <laughs> like, when you, like, that's the moment, like, I could I don't know if that's it. a moment. I could that's suck like, a oh dick. my god, I'm scared I'm gonna have that moment where I turn gay. I think it, I think you're gay or you're not. I think, okay. I think you know. So you think, I, I'm, I'm probably not gay then, right? I think you're a straight man. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> not that being gay is wrong, I'm just, you know, I don't want to have that I want penis moment, you know? <laughs> Do you have one penis moment? No. Then you're not gay. Oh, fuck. That's literally not... <laughs> that's the that's definition... That's, tw- that's $120 you owe me now. <laughs> Why? Because it's a non-gay test, and I take them very seriously. <laughs> and I've been testing you for nine years. <laughs> Do you like this? Is this what you like? <laughs> I've never been more turned off in my life. You're straight, and that was hurtful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to run the test. It hurts my self-esteem. Someone's got to do yeah. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. All right, so back on the TV shows. <laughs> Where the fuck did we go? I don't know. <laughs> no we go down started. a rabbit hole. That's just fuck. Me we... challenging your sexuality. I'm, you challenging. I your can't own came sexuality. out on top though. I'm still straight, straight white male. Yay! <laughs> Honestly, if you're gay, you could also come out on top. Nothing wrong with that, That's my friend. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> was that on the show or was that me just asking you? I was like, yo, if you told Kelsey you were gay, what do you think she'd say? And that was like, not on the show. <laughs> she's like, she, she, I, I, I know. <laughs> I, she would be like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't if we were gay. It was if we were, we're gay getting, with each other. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one. And we just spent a lot of time together, which is yeah. like, nothing wrong with that. We nothing together. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Mark Wahlberg. I look like Mark, if Mark Wahlberg ate Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> What's that from? That's from Trainwreck. <laughs> Did I show you that at all? Trainwreck. The fucking John Cena stuff? Uh, when he's just like... It's like, um... He's talking to that you, guy? You told me about oh, it. Oh, we're watching that after this. Or we're hitting pause and we're watching it right now. <laughs> you watch it after. Um, but yeah, so TV shows. That's about it. And uh, I've been watching It's Always Sunny Philadelphia, which me and Brendan have been talking a lot lately. As like... it, I, I, we, we feel like it's hard to call this show a sitcom because yeah. it's not really a sitcom no. it is but we don't feel like it's categorized as a sitcom oh, it's man. more of a comedy dude I, show i know we like we that, that's the thing before you watched it and i told you how good the show is it's really hard to tell someone how good this show is it's hard it, it's, it's hard. a hard it's a hard mo- i first saw the show and didn't like it when i this was like probably like before danny devito or during like his this is back when i lived in toronto for the first like when i moved away for okay. the first time my next boyfriend really liked the show, and it would, I'd only ever see like snippets. And I was like, "Fuck, this show's annoying." I'm so tired of this. Probably Charlie's show. Day's voice, like, ah! and it was Charlie Day's whiny yeah. little voice. And I'm like, "This show's dumb." Then I remember this is when I came back, and I was living with my roommates. And then Kyle was like, "Dude, no, it's a really good show." I'm you like, need to watch it. I'm like, like I no. don't want to fucking see it, man. Like, I, I lived with the voices in my life. So then I did what any normal person who has too much pride would do. I downloaded it in my own privacy. Yeah, and, and watched started, it by yourself. Fuck, it's so good. And that's when I. Hey, what are you laughing at? Nothing to porn. <laughs> just what? jerking it. Yeah, just. <laughs> Just beating my meat, man. <laughs> just, just, just slobbing on a knob. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm having my moment. <laughs> this is my coming out moment. But yes, that is, that is the show we both decided was just like, it's too good for words. The show itself is like undefinably good. And in season one, Danny DeVito is not in the show at all. Yeah. And it's a good show. It's a great show. Season it's, one's good. I kind of want to, who owns the bar then if Danny DeVito's not there? They, they own the bar. Oh, okay, Danny the brother own, and the sister own the bar? All of them. No, the, the sister doesn't own any shares of the bar. It's the three of them, Mac, Charlie, oh. and Dennis, who own the bar. So throughout the whole show, do they own they the all, bar? So yes, there's actually... Like, I, I'm under the impression that fucking... Danny DeVito owns Danny, it, no. Danny DeVito owns He the might bar. own a portion of it like once he kind of like joins yeah. in. But there's an episode where they, they do like this thing, and then they all... like 
Then they tell Charlie he actually has none of the bar because he traded all of them for goods and services. Oh, I remember. I watched that episode. Yeah, and he's like, "You owe me thirty percent of the bar." Yeah, and yeah. He basically sold more than he had of the bar. That's the one with the fucking coupons. Where they uh, make the coupons and they give them out to the yeah. fucking trailer people and they just bring it back because they uh, they just waste money. They give away free beer. I don't know beer. if I watched that episode. Yeah. I did, I don't, I need, I don't, I don't. I don't think that's the same episode, dude. You just did that Walmart yodel. <laughs> yodel, I don't fucking know. <laughs> that's yodeling. I don't give a fuck. Close enough. But yeah, um, they, 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 they go around and they print, they want to be like... like we also, need... also, I did the research. Um... Charlie Day is married to the the, the waitress. The, waitress. The, the brother and sister are not married. Not to each the other. brother and sister. It's it's Mac and Dee who are married. Oh, not together though. They're so Buff Boy and Dee. They're oh, together. Not the brother and sister. I thought you said Dennis and no, Dee are Mac married. And, Mac and I'm like that's Deandra. weird. Oh, no. Okay. The, okay. the one where they think they have. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna ruin that one. Yeah. Even though I just said most of the spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Halloween episode. It's really really good. Why did you put intro skin at the last? Because I thought of it after. Oh, that's funny. Then we can do an outro skit. I don't yeah, know. We can do an outro <laughs> skit. <laughs> um, oh, fuck, an hour already. My yeah, God. Yeah, Where did the time fuck. go? Um, okay, did, bye. <laughs> did I talk about that shitty movie I watched recently? Yes. Okay, I watched a movie called Annihilation starring... Uh, Ke- Ke- what was it? Keanu Reeves? No, um, Kev- Kev- Natalie Portman. Who was the one that was in fucking... Uh, that, was, that played Princess Amidala? Oh. It's Natalie that, Portman, right? Natalie Portman, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it stars her and... Isaac o- Oscar Isaac, the guy who played Poe Dameron in, in uh, Star Wars. That's really the strange pilot. That they're both in that movie. We, I just never thought of it, but that's really funny. Um, but yeah, anything with Oscar Isaac, I should start just. <laughs> they're like, they show up on set, and she's like, "How's new Star Wars?" And she's like, "How's prequel Star Wars?" I'm a little touchy. Though. Yeah, just really, I just don't really talk about it. Talk about it right now. You're really making me want to talk about it. And I just really don't want to talk about it. I like Star Wars, okay? It, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So any movie with him in it, you're probably like, I should start panning and not watching because he he not that he's a bad actor, he just picks bad movies. Mm-hmm. I've watched like five movies of his, and I just hate all of them. Yep. And so um. So it starts off with like, okay, so her, I watch it in theaters, and so it starts off with her and her husband's in the, like, they're both, she's like a teacher now, and he's in the military, and he's coming back from a secret mission, but it was like he was dead, but, so he shows up, and he's like super weird, so then they end up picking up. Is that where he's in the wheelchair? No. Never mind. not wheelchair. (laughs) Weirdo. Think of that Ryan Gosling movie. Probably. And so... They take him to, like, this government facility and stuff like that, and then they talk about the aliens hit here, and, and it's, like, funny, because it's, like, because it's taking up a big portion that no one would know about it. Like, she doesn't know about this, and it's, like, okay, if there's a part in the United States that's taken up by aliens, I think someone would come across it I'm at just one gonna point. I'm going to go ahead and say it out loud on record. I think most of America's been discovered. I think so. <laughs> I think so, too. There's no missing yeah. patch. Yeah. <laughs> there's no forbidden area. Yeah. Oh, just so you know, this is a complete non-recommend. Um, <laughs> so, preface with yeah. that. so then, so she gets like debriefed on like what's going on. She's like, I'm taking a team in there. And so then she's like, oh, I'm going to go in because I have to make it up to my husband, which you don't really realize till like later in she the movie. She trained in like military. Women. Yeah. But it's like this group of like five girls. Okay. And so the one chick, who, the one, it... one of the girls in there is such a bad actress. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Where are we going? That's it. She's like, she's trying to tell like the severity of this. And she's looking at her fingers, picking them. She's like, so this aliens have taken over Earth. And oh my God, what's that? And so it's just like, she's talking in this complete monotone voice. Like no, like. No emotion at all. No She's talking about how severe this is. And that like her husband's like really messed up right now. Oh my god. It's just like oh super my. annoying. You just want to fucking like, just, like, like Tammy shake from Bob's him, Burgers. Like, exactly. <laughs> but at least like but not as funny. Dude, it's like Tammy yeah. and Jocelyn having a conversation. Yeah. So they so they go into this like shimmer. That's what they call it, the shimmer. It's basically like it basically looks like a bubble. It's a bubble. And who fucking yeah, named it? It's that I don't know. And so, <laughs> so you, saw it. it was like we're going in the shimmer. Just deal with this. We'll call, we'll call it the shimmer. <laughs> Why don't we just call it like Area Fifty? Shut the fuck up. We already have. We're one. not calling Area Fifty Two. We we got the board. Shimmer was most popular. <laughs> we put it on Twitch. You and... said you said the shimmer. Yeah, and I got fifty percent of the votes, motherfucker. Fifty one, if I counted myself, <laughs> which I do. Uh, no I one for, voted I for. Two we have two hundred people say against it and go Area Fifty Two. 
I own most of the stocks here. It's just Fuck a sharpie you. on a whiteboard. Yeah. It's not coming off now, is it's it? It's not coming off. No. It's not. <laughs> so it turns out like she's going in there because she cheated on her husband. Um, and it was just like, so your idea to make it back to your husband from fucking another man is to go into this place. And it's like, why though? So it's just stupid. It's like, no, that doesn't make up for cheating on your husband. How about don't cheat on your husband? Just, just saying. Just a thought. Just saying. Or apologize. Yeah. You know? Or talk it out or you can see a marriage counselor. Yeah. Instead of going into an alien infested <laughs> thing. Would so, a marriage counselor work for you? No. No. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. And so then, like, they go and they basically start getting, like, picked off stuff. And then they find, like, this footage and it's of, like, her husband's squad. And they, like, fucking... I was actually surprised how gruesome this movie got. The footage shows them cutting this guy's stomach open and his intestines and stuff, but it's like a snake going in there, so they think it's like an alien that's inside of him, but it could just be intestines. Okay. But he, like, he grabs it, and it's just fucking sliding through, and they cut like his whole fucking stomach open. Like, it's fucked up. So, like, it's got good CGI, though. Like, yeah. The, like, the graphics and the, the cinema is, like, aside from, yeah. like, the bad acting and the bad Yeah, movie. it's a nicely shot movie. And then, so then, like, they keep going, and they find, like... Basically, what it is, it's like a cancer, and it grows. It, like, builds a fungus of, like, okay. fucking disease. It kind of destroys everything in its presence. And so that's basically what this alien presence does to Earth. And so I just keep finding, like... And then, like, there's this part of the... Honestly, you you need to try not to laugh, because, like... So they lost one girl, and so they're in this house, and they hear, like, this girl screaming, like, that girl screaming and stuff like that. And so, like, one person basically goes outside and they end up like getting attacked by this bear that has like half a face and so then like you just see it's like skull and stuff like that and then it's just like help me and it's like opens its mouth and it's a girl talking it's like mimicking her voice and it's so funny like it's the like, bear's doing that yeah and it's like <laughs> and so then like the fucking bear bites this person's face off and you see like the bottom jaw gone and shit like it's fucking gruesome i'm like oh my so then it gets to the end, and, like, basically, like, everybody dies, and she gets to the, um, she gets to, like, the, the, the first, like, basically, like, the first... Initial contact. Yeah, where the, where the, it's this lighthouse. So she goes inside, and there's basically, like, a bomb, or there's a, there's a body, and it looks like it was, like, blown up. It's just, like, a skeleton, so then there's another camera there, because there's cameras everywhere in this fucking place. So she watches the footage, and it's actually her husband. He's like, have you ever seen what happens when a person, uh, holds a phosphorus grenade to themselves? And he goes and sits down, and he pulls the fucking trigger. And then the guy's like, you sure you want to do this? He's like, yep. And he fucking blows up, and it's like this... It's really... It looks really cool, because he, like, blows up, and it's like, sparks everywhere and shit like that. And then this person walks away from the camera, and it's him. So I was like, oh, it's an alien. Oh. So... And then, so then, like, she's in this lighthouse, and she watches the video, and she's like, oh my god, this is my husband, he's an alien. And so, then, like, she hears some stuff down that's like, honestly, it looks like a... Sp- like a giant spider hole. It's like, fuck that. So she goes down the spider hole and it's a woman that like ran the thing that was like with them in the pack that can't act. And so then she's acting like weird and then she turns into fire and then she becomes this robot man. It's like literally a silver person. And so then she like tries to run and this thing's running after her and it's like kind of mocking her movements. So she goes to run out and it like pins her to the wall. And then she, like, swings at it, and then it swings at her, too, but, like, takes a weapon at her, like, hits her with something, and then, basically, she gets it to kill itself. Okay. And then she leaves, and then, so then she, like, gets out of there, and she's, like, talking to the people of what, what her experience is, and then she goes and sees her husband, she's like, are you, I can't, I'm just gonna call him Luke, she's like, are you Luke? He's like, I don't think so. He's like, are you Sandra? I don't really know her character name. She's like, I don't know. And then you see her eyes kind of shimmer. Uh, and it's like, really? That's the surprise ending? Sorry if I ruined that movie, but this is the full review. And you're welcome. It's fucking terrible. It sounds like a really... It sounds like it'd be better Dude, for a low budget. It's fucking quiet. It's a really quiet movie. Really? Oh, it's like... Like, if you're eating popcorn, all I hear... <laughs> You just, like, hear you chewing in your yeah. own ears. Oh, it's so fucking quiet, man. There's not a shit lot of dialogue. The best characters were two of the women that end up getting killed off. <laughs> and yeah. then there goes the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> and Isaac, Oscar Isaac, who doesn't say anything in the whole movie. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not Check, please. <laughs> Check, please. I'm actually ready to go home. 
I will take my bill now. Can you just use the stand-in version of me? Yeah, it's just, just a carton. That's There's pretty cool, on. I dig it. I dig it. I'm oh, yawning. I can't help it. I'm yawning. Um, Any other movies you watch? TV shows? Uh, not really. I think stuff that we can cover for like another day. I'd really like to get into like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, but I think that's for another day. I think. Yeah. I think this is good for right now. Dig it! So if you guys have any things you want us to hear, talk about, you know the rules, just go ahead and say it in the comments down below. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, jam, it up. we'll jam it out. Yeah. Also, I watched tons of documentaries on Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, so if you guys like really want to listen to me do that, say something and, uh, and request it. And, and if you don't get... request it, we're going to do it anyway. Yeah. So... I just won't go as into detail if you guys wanted it. Lies, we're going to do it. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for tuning in, guys. Have yourself a good evening, and don't forget... Uh, party on, friends. I don't know what our time outline is. We didn't, um, we didn't establish one. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. Munchamine. Munchamine. Bye. <laughs>